A while back, I joined Kyle of WebDev Simplified for a CSS battle over on his channel, and it really was a blast, and the response to it was absolutely fantastic, but there was one downside to it. I decided to challenge Kevin Powell, who's literally the king of CSS, to a CSS battle. And that seems to have stuck. In the comments of my videos over here on YouTube and on Twitter, people are always calling me the king of CSS just all the time. Now you might be going, how is that a problem? Or, you know, Kevin, just relax a little bit. Take the compliment, be happy that people appreciate how good you are at CSS. And maybe it's just the humble Canadian in me, but I do think that calling me the king puts me on too much of a pedestal. By calling me the king, it puts me on top. It means that I'm the best and there are others who are below me. And that's just so far from the truth. And sure, I know what I'm doing with CSS. I've been writing it as part of my job for over a decade now, and I've been teaching it for going on seven years, so I should hope I know what I'm doing with it at least, but that's very different from being the king. I try to take everything I learn and teach it in as approachable way as possible, and because of that, for some people, I'm their go-to resource for CSS, and that's kind of mind-blowing on its own, but I'm also really thrilled that I can help out so many people. But one very important thing to know is I didn't get here on my own. I got here by following and listening to a lot of people who are much smarter than me. I like the saying, standing on the shoulder of giants, but usually that sort of implies the other people are dead. Uh, you know, you've sort of learned from other people and you've got to where you are now and you're, you're standing on their shoulders, but a lot of the people that I learned all this from, they're alive and kicking and still doing a really, really amazing things. I mean, this channel that we're on right now, it started to gain traction when I put out some early content on CSS Grid, and I learned pretty much everything in those videos from Jen Simmons and Rachel Andrew, who both know more about CSS than I ever will, and who both have had and continue to have a significant influence on where CSS and the web are today. I had my eyes open to the creativity of CSS when I read Leia Veru's CSS Secrets book, and I continue to learn from and be amazed by the content that she continues to put out. I've also learned an incredible amount from Andy Bell, picking up ideas from his tutorials and courses, not to mention his fantastic every layout that he created along with Hayden Pickering. And speaking of Hayden, I'm also a massive fan of his webbed briefs video series, which is just really funny and awesome and teaches you a lot along the way. And I'm inspired by his strong advocacy for accessibility as well. Then there's Miriam Susan, who actually changed how I see an approach to CSS with a single wonderful video. I mention it in a lot of my videos, but if you haven't checked it out, it's about why CSS is so weird. I've linked it down below because uh, it really did completely just make me, it made me realize something I already knew about it since I was pretty heavy into CSS at that point, but just, she puts it so eloquently. And yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'd really recommend it, checking it out. And it's not like she just stopped there. She's up to so many wonderful things. I mean, she's helping push CSS into the future now, and she's also doing a really good job of educating us along the way uh, as she does that. So, I mean, Miriam, hats off to you and everything that you're up to these days. Next up, I'm gonna clump Una Kravitz and Adam Argyle together. I've talked about Una before in one of my previous videos, but I'm grouping them together because they're aptly named CSS Podcast, which they do together. I honestly thought teaching something as visual as CSS was impossible in podcast form, but they proved me wrong in the best possible way. It's such a great podcast. And I've not only learned a lot from it, but it's also influenced how I teach as well. Now, the two of them are up to a lot more than just that with Una having one of my favorite YouTube series, Designing in the Browser. And Adam has his own YouTube channel and GUI challenges, just to name a few things. He's come on to help me uh, learn some new things as well. Along with Una, he's just helping push CSS forward and advocating for CSS, which just makes me so happy. Now, most recently, there's been Stephanie Eccles, who's up to so many amazing things. I honestly don't know if I can keep up to everything she's doing, uh, but she's had a huge influence on how I write my own CSS with her elegant and clever uses of modern CSS. And she has an aptly named site, Modern CSS, as well as Small CSS, which have become go-to resources for me. They're just really nice, uh, nice little snippets, some longer articles, uh, and just ways to help improve your CSS. And she does a fantastic job of teaching them. And she's, as I said, up to a lot more than just that. And honestly, those are just a few of the people who've helped me get to where I am today and who are much better at CSS than I am. There are many other people who've had huge influences on me as well. I just, I can't name everyone in one video. So I apologize if you're one of those people and I haven't said your name, but you know, there's also all the authors over at CSS Tricks, Smashing Magazine, and many other blogs and places as well that just help push the world of CSS forward. And of course, that's not mentioning all the wizards and artists out there who create the most amazing things with CSS with people like Jay, Amit Sheen, and the others who create ridiculous demonstrations that just showcase us the power of CSS over on CodePen and on their own platforms. I'm always learning from these brilliant people and I wouldn't know 10% of what I know about CSS if it wasn't for these people that I've just talked about and all the ones that I forgot. Now, I think what has helped me become the face of CSS for some people 
is for whatever reason, my approach and style of teaching seems to click for many people. That doesn't make me the king though, it just makes me a good communicator. And if you wanna say I'm the best teacher of CSS that you know, maybe I can take something like that. Uh, but I just think that you also don't wanna limit yourself to one person, even if their style and their approach really clicks for you. Every person will have different experiences and different points of view influencing how they do things and affecting their teaching. And you know they have different work experience and different life experience that all impacts on all of this. So even if you're enjoying my content because my style does click with you, you shouldn't just stick with me. Uh, it's really going to help you learn things when you're seeing the multiple different ways people are approaching the same things. You can see the things that people do similarly, things people do differently, and everyone will bring something different to the table and you can learn from all of that instead of just focusing on one person and that's gonna make you better for it. Now it might seem a little bit silly to be making a video just entirely about how I'm not comfortable with the title that people have started to call me, and especially when it's meant as a compliment. Now, I don't mean to put down or undermine anyone who's been giving me that compliment. It's a compliment after all, but I feel like it doesn't acknowledge or include all the others that are out there. So maybe there are lots of princes and princesses of CSS or gurus or senseis or whatever else you'd like to go with, but King, in a world as inclusive as the internet is, with so many people that share so many amazing pieces of information, and where there's always someone who's better than you, the king, it just doesn't seem to be the right fit. Now for a lot of people, I also manage to make CSS that is something less frustrating and hopefully even something that they enjoy. Now that, it just makes me so happy. Uh, that I've, ha I've been able to help people with their CSS journey and may help them fall in love with CSS or at least be a little bit less frustrated by it. But whatever that does make me, it doesn't make me the king.